Nestle amidst the rolling hills of rural Essex, England, stood Borley Rectory, a looming Gothic mansion shrouded in mystery and legend. Built in 1863, this imposing structure quickly garnered a reputation as the most haunted house in England, a title would hold for decades to come. The eerie tales surrounding Borley Rectory began almost as soon as its foundations were laid. Village whispers of strange lights flickering in its windows at night and mournful cries echoing from its darkened halls. Some claim to have seen ghostly apparitions drifting through the overgrown gardens, while others swore they heard phantom footsteps pacing the empty corridors. But it was not until the arrival of Reverend Lionel Foister and his wife Marianne in 1930 that the true extent of Borley Rectory's hauntings would come to light. The Foisters, seeking solace in the quiet countryside, eagerly moved into the rectory, unaware of the horrors that awaited them within its walls. Almost immediately, the Foisters were confronted with a series of inexplicable events that defied rational explanation. Marianne reported seeing shadowy figures darting through the shadows, their features obscured by darkness. Objects would vanish without a trace, only to reappear in seemingly impossible locations. And most disturbingly, Marianne claimed to have been physically assaulted by unseen forces, leaving her bruised and shaken. As the strange occurrences continued to escalate, the foisters reached out to the church for help, desperate for answers. But their pleas fell on deaf ears, dismissed as the overactive imaginations of a troubled couple. Undeterred, Lionel Foister turned to one man he believed could shed light on the mystery, renowned paranormal investigator Harry Price. Price known for his meticulous approach to the supernatural, arrived at the Borley Rectory in the late 1930s, armed with an array of scientific instruments and a healthy skepticism. Over the course of several weeks, Price conducted a thorough investigation of the rectory, documenting every strange occurrence and unexplained phenomenon. What he discovered would send shockwaves to the world of paranormal research, Borley Rectory, it seemed, was a hotbed of supernatural activity. With evidence of hauntings dating back decades, Price recorded numerous sightings of ghostly figures, strange lights, and inexplicable noises, all seemingly emanating from the empty halls of the rectory. But perhaps the most chilling discovery came in the form of mysterious writings that appeared on the walls of the rectory as if etched by an unseen hand. These cryptic messages, written in a language unknown to man, spoke of dark secrets and forgotten truths, hinting at a history far more sinister than anyone could have imagined. Despite Price's best efforts, the true nature of the haunting at Worldly Rectory remained elusive. Some speculated the rectory was built upon ancient burial grounds its foundations disturbed by the restless spirits of the past. Others believe that the house itself was cursed, its very walls imbued with malevolent energy. In 1939, tragedy struck World Directory when a fire tore through its crumbling halls, reducing the once grand mansion to a smoldering ruin. The cause of the fire remains a mystery to this day, Fielding speculation that it was the work of vengeful spirits seeking retribution. But even in its destruction, Borley Rectory continued to captivate public imagination, drawing ghost hunters and paranormal enthusiasts from far and wide in search of answers. And though the rectory may be gone, its legacy lives on, a haunting reminder of the enigma that still lurks within its shard remains. To this day, the mystery of Borley Rectory remains unsolved, its secrets buried beneath layers of legend and lore. But for those who dare to venture into its haunted halls, 
the echoes of the past still linger, whispering of a time when the veil between the living and the dead was thinner than anyone dared to imagine.